When people meet me, they immediately find out the passion I have for industrialized construction. But what a lot of people don't know about me is that I love music. I love rap music. I wanted a new sound system in my home, but I felt uncertain about which way to go. How do I make the right choice? I could get an out of the box solution and that would be that. I unpack the little gray boxes, I plug them in and they make music. Does it sound great? Can I customize it? It works, but is it the art of sound? Instead of taking a one size fits all approach, I worked with a consultant who gathered up the details from me and tailored a system to what I needed. She didn't manufacture the equipment herself, but she understood my problem and the applicable product so well that she could apply her expertise and creativity to assemble a system that was perfect for me. Using standard products available on the market, she could select the right combination based on my needs, my parameters, and use this information and assemble the right combination of equipment to architect a solution. Using those manufactured products allowed her to customize my one-of-a-kind speakers to match my decor, white and sparkly, while I feel the bass and hear Cardi B as if she were next to me. Products gave her the freedom to spend the time on that part of my user experience that she otherwise wouldn't have had time to do if she had to make everything from scratch. So I could enjoy the art of sound in my home. And just like me, our customers are looking for ways to understand their changing business models more clearly and get their needs met. And Autodesk's unique approach helps our customers adapt to this incredible period of change and convergence, transform their businesses through methods like productization, and more easily achieve better outcomes. Because whatever business you're in right now, chances are everything is changing if you recognize it because of convergence. Technologies are converging. My phone is no longer just my phone. It's my map, my social network, my matchmaker, my entertainment. Processes are converging. They used to be siloed, like design, make, and operate, which are now coming together to remove waste. Entire industries are converging, which is why we're talking about industrialized construction today. So what does the convergence of industries like manufacturing, design, and construction mean? Well, for one thing, it means we don't just have the binary choice of only making snowflakes or only making gray boxes. Recently, I asked a friend of mine who is the head of VDNC for a construction company working on a very large hospital, how much of the digitization effort that he put into building that hospital could be reutilized for the next hospital. His face fell. He said, none of it. Hospital designs, this critical infrastructure is complex with many stakeholders involved. Great designs attract great surgeons and staff to these hospitals as they heal the sick and the wounded. Great designs are also integral to the patient experience and their healing process. Many parts within a hospital, above the ceilings, behind the walls, and underground, these systems that actually make the hospital function are often prefabricated. It allows for concurrency of things that are built on site and things that are manufactured to decrease the schedule. There is a difference between prefabrication and productization. I had a colleague for 15 years whose daughter had brain cancer. We worked on many hospitals incorporating prefabrication, and besides reducing the schedules, it was our quest to enable a healthier form of construction for patients like his daughter, who couldn't encounter dust or dirt and needed good air quality to heal. I visited her many times and watched as they continuously wiped her down after every procedure to keep her clean to make sure that she could be as healthy as she could be while she was fighting this disease. And then construction started. That vision is one of the things that drives me to educate hospitals about industrialized construction and productization. I knew that we could remove the cutting of that drywall that was outside her room, creating construction dust, so that she could properly heal and they could still build their hospital addition. We cannot achieve this if we continue to do less efficient prefabrication after the design. 
So how can we support our customers to their advantage to inform and optimize their designs beyond prefabrication and free them to be more creative on those areas of the building that are truly unique? We need to talk about productization. Here's the important takeaway. To leverage your data, you need to productize both the physical and the digital and be able to utilize it across a platform. If you truly want your data to do something, you must productize it. Productization allows you to anchor your data into both the physical element, like the medical headwall behind the hospital patient in their room, and its digital workflow that informs your design, enables efficient manufacturing, and accelerates assembly of your buildings. Imagine you're in a physical library. The shelves are full of books, and each page is filled with data that gets updated in real time. If you want to read about sensor data for that hospital headwall, you go to that shelf, you pull down that book, and you read the data that comes from that part. Because it's part of that library, it would also tell you how that specific headwall interacts with other data, like the hallway MEP distribution rack it attaches to, in any combination based on the parameters that you set. This is the power of the platform. To have certainty about the performance of a given physical element in a design. To be able to predict performance and find the best combinations to create the desired outcomes. So if we could follow products along the process from informed design to make and assemble and track their data in the Forge platform, we can see things and predict things we couldn't before. We could analyze workflows and the interconnected ecosystem of data-rich parts. We can see gaps at the definition stage that give us the information to improve the products and workflows at the same time. And we can use predictive analytics that drive quality and performance throughout the process. Let's go back to our hospital example here. Imagine a world where those multi-trade assemblies are moved to the front of the process, where they are truly products that inform the design of that hospital. And the architects take those head walls, operating room ceilings, risers, hallway distribution racks, elevators, central utility plants, and feed those defined manufactured products into generative design tools to create the right combination of manufactured products for an end user experience that truly meets the parameters of both the hospital and their patients, like my friend's daughter. When these systems are optimized, it frees the architects up to deliver on those areas that are bespoke, more custom and focus their artistry and their talents there, instead of on systems that are functioning behind the scenes. Because we're not just doing this for business and revenue growth. We're doing this for sustainability, risk reduction, and improving the products and buildings. So now, when I ask my VD and C friend, how much of this design can they repurpose for their next building? He can tell me almost all of it. I've already described the first couple steps in the transformation framework. This is how we support our customers on their convergence journey. So I wanna put it all together for you now. Our foundational step is really about readiness. Readiness around culture, skills, tools, technology, and processes. Productization is next, and we need to change our mindset to data reusability. And then digitization, assembling a building out of hundreds of different products, applying machine learning and AI to connect everything in the most automated and efficient way. To connect these products and workflows and enable them in the cloud and be productive on our platform so that we can then optimize with enhanced capabilities. When we start thinking about how many things we never have to draw again, we liberate design and contribute to a better world because digital waste exponentially leads to physical waste. Productization is the single most important way to avoid waste in our landfills, which 40% of now is construction waste. At the beginning, I said that industries were converging and businesses needed to adapt to succeed. Don't take my word for it. 
We held an event of leaders and surveyed them recently. We learned that 82% of them identified themselves as Convergence customers, and a whopping 79% saw themselves on a path to productization. If you don't have a strategy to adapt to these new changes, here's where we can help. As your partner, we know you're doing business differently. And our industrialized construction team, along with our Convergence consultants, want to support your work and help make this easier for you. So you too can enjoy the art of sound. And when I'm at home and listening to my rap music, I sometimes imagine a world where any building, not just our hospitals, are built by manufacturing informed design for cleaner construction sites, less waste, and beautiful structures that truly impact the people inside them.